before you do any work in a shower, before you take the cover off the shower, you must make sure that the shower is safe. So that means making sure you've got the thing switched off at the pull cord switch, or if you have one of these type of switches, an isolation switch, make sure it's switched off at the isolation switch. That in itself is not good enough. You must check that if you have a circuit breaker, that you've switched the, shower, switched the power off at the circuit breaker, or if you've got the old style fuse, you've removed the fuse before you start. Once you're sure that there's no power getting to the shower, you can then, it's then safe to remove the cover. Okay, I'd now like to look at the pressure relief device. This is a safety device that's in all showers. If, for example, the head gets blocked with a lime scale, or indeed what you can often get is the hose kinking, this builds up pressure inside the shower. And what happens when the pressure builds up is if there's no place for the water to go, it could potentially blow up inside, or indeed at least cause a lot of the damage inside. And so all showers are fitted with a pressure relief device. Something like this. We'll have a look at this in a bit more detail. This is the Triton T80Z. Now, the, um, the pressure relief device in this is a bit quirky, so we actually have a video clip of replacing this one um, you know, specifically. But really what I'm trying to do is to look at pressure relief devices in general. The, um, this pressure relief device is tucked in around the back of the outlet pipe here. Normally in a Triton, that's where they are. They're somewhere at the bottom of the tank or in the outlet pipe. And occasionally with some of the Tritons, you get them attached to the side. Um, to have a look at the, well, I think we'll have a look at the Triton tanks more specifically. This is a tank that's very similar in a Triton, and although you can't see it, that the pressure relief device is tucked in around the back here. It's held in by these two legs. And then when you pull the outlet pipe out, what you have here is the pressure relief device here. And inside the pressure relief device is nothing more than a small ball. When the pressure builds up inside the tank, it blows the ball out of the bottom of the pressure relief device and lets the pressure out of the tank. It's a safety valve. Triton have us here various um, methods of putting this on. This is another one. This is oh, well, probably, probably this one. Um, this is slightly different in that the outlet pipe, which would fit here, that um, doesn't actually hold, in this case, hold the pressure relief device in place. The way this sits into the casting of the shower, the pressure relief device is held in by the casting. And in this case, one of the other Triton pressure relief devices is this bent one here. It's the same as this, it's really just a case of unscrewing it from the front and screwing that into place. Once again, it's a ball that's in, inside the thing and it really just blows the ball out. Most of the Triton t uh, pressure relief devices are fairly easy to repair. It's the sort of thing that you would normally, that would go wrong, not regularly, but go wrong occasionally. So it has to be, it's almost a DIY job. The, um, the, the tank, as I say, has the outlet pipe placed here. And really what you normally need to do is pull this away and then you can pull the, the pressure relief device out. Fitting a new pressure relief device is fairly straightforward. You must make sure that you place a new o the new o-ring on the pressure relief device um, like so and then all you need to do is push the pressure relief device into the bottom of the tank now the only thing that you really need to be careful of is to make sure that the old o-ring has come out of the bottom of the tank this can either fall into the bottom of the bath or shower or it's left in there if you have the two o-rings in there it will be impossible to replace that so that's the only real difficulty with placing a Triton, um, a Triton PRD. Make sure that the O-ring's clear, and when you take the outlet pipe out, make sure that the O-ring for the outlet pipe is still in there, or that you have a new one to put on there. Usually, it stays. Usually, the, the outlet pipe O-ring stays in. It doesn't normally fall out, but it's something to watch. The next PRD I'd like to look at is the Myra one. You can see the similarities in the tank. Um, that might actually have a ball that's pushed into the bottom of the tank. Fairly simple, the ball blows out. If you're lucky enough to find it in the bottom of the bath or the shower, you can push it back in. However, I would always regard that as a temporary measure. Once this ball's been blown out, it tends to, um, to when you push it back in, it, it tends to pop out again. So if you find the ball, push it back in, and the shower will work fine. The, um, but at the same time, order a new a new ball because once the new ball goes in it should be there for much longer. Okay now to have a quick look at the Gainsborough pressure relief device. It's 
slightly different to most of them, in that basically when the Greensboro, when the pressure builds up inside a Gainsborough shower, what it does is it blows the bottom of the shower out. Um, this is just pushed in with a rubber o-ring, but what it's held in place with is held in place with a metal clip. This is a fairly soft piece of metal, so when there's any pressure inside the shower, what it does is the pressure pushes down, bends that bit of metal, and the outlet pipe pops out the bottom. Once again, as I guess it's just pressing that back in, you can try and re-bend this bit of metal back into shape, but similar to the Myra, what happens is that once it's bent, it never seems to work properly after that. You really need a new outlet pipe and a new metal plate. The newer Gainsboroughs, they use a similar method to the Triton, other than the fact that it's not got a separate, um, a separate PRD. The PRD is actually built into the outlet pipe on the new Gainsboroughs. The uh, outlet pipe just screws into the bottom of the tank with, uh, with these two screws here, goes up and into the bottom of the tank. Once again, just to make it a little bit more difficult, the PRD is actually hidden around the back of the outlet pipe. But So it's really just a case of this goes, a new outlet pipe and just screw it up into place and that's the, uh, that's the PRD fixed for the Gainsborough. Okay, now to look at the new team. Um, it works once again in a slightly different principle to the rest. This is the pressure relief device heater and what happens is the centre of this, um, if the pressure builds up, the centre of this plastic, um, plastic disc here blows out. What happens is the pressure builds up and inside here there's a small piston. The piston pushes forward and then breaks the middle of, the, uh, of this disc and the water gushes out and relieves the pressure from the shower. Once again, this is fairly easy to replace, that it's really just a case of taking the new piston, as a new piston comes with the pressure relief device, you take the new piston, pop it in there, push it in, and then screw the disc back on. Now, the one thing to take care of, to make sure you take care of here, is make sure that the piston is screwed fully home. If this pitch, sorry, pushed fully home, if that piston's not pushed fully home, when you screw the new disc on, what will happen is that the piston will break the disc. So you need to make sure this is pushed right in the whole way. You feel it's nice and solid and then you can pop the new pressure relief for the shear. A shear pad is the technical term that uh, new team use for this. Pop the new shear pad on and that's you fixed the pressure relief device on a new team.